This right here may be what the future of search engines will look like. This is PreSearch, a pretty slick project in my opinion. According to the project website, PreSearch is a decentralized search engine powered by blockchain technology. It claims to provide search privacy, better search results, rewards for both the user and the node operators, which is the topic of our video today. This video is not a deep dive into all the capabilities of PreSearch. PreSearch.org and PreSearch.io has plenty of material that pretty much covers everything you need to know. My primary focus on this video is on how to set up a PreSearch node in order to earn some sweet PreSearch token. But before I go any further, I have to make a few things clear. I am not sponsored or affiliated with PreSearch and I am not offering any financial or investment advice in this video. As it is with any project, this may take off, float for a while or sink in a matter of days. There are no guarantees, but that should never stop us from exploring the magic of blockchain technology and precisely pre-search in this video. Here we are on presearch.io. So first thing we need to do is click on run a node, launch a node, you can copy this and save it for ease of access. Create an account. The only thing you need to create an account is an email address and password. Once logged in, this is what you should see. It's very simple. To run a node, you will need a collateral of 2000 pre-search token per node. The 2000 pre-search token remain yours and it will go up in price if the price of pre-search token goes up. At the time of making this video, one pre-token is worth about 33 cents US. So 2000 pre-search token will cost you about 665 US dollars. But you do need to buy more just to cover any fluctuation in price and any transaction fees. I highly recommend adding maybe another 100 US dollars to be on the safe side. There are multiple ways of buying pre-search token. You can do that by using ETH, Bitcoin or using a credit card. However, that is not my preferred method. And I honestly don't even care to explore any of that. I'm going to be using Coinbase and Uniswap to purchase mine. The first thing I did was buy USDC on Coinbase. I only needed 700 US dollars, but I went ahead and bought 1080 US dollars worth of USDC. Not all of it is for pre-search. I also have plans to buy another low cap coin. As you can see, my 1000 USDC is added to my Coinbase assets. Now what I need to do is send it to my Coinbase wallet. For my viewers who are not familiar with Coinbase wallet, I have detailed instructions on how to download, install and use Coinbase wallet at the end of this video. For my viewers who already have a Coinbase wallet, the process is as such. Click open your Coinbase wallet from your browser extension, get your Coinbase wallet address, copy it and return to your Coinbase account. Click on send and receive, select send and make sure you have the correct coin that you are paying with. In my case it is USDC, so I need to change it from engine to USDC. Enter the amount that you want to send to your Coinbase wallet and paste your Coinbase wallet address here. Click on continue, send now, you will be prompted to enter your two-factor authenticator, enter your code and confirm it. Once the funds are in your Coinbase wallet, you can go ahead and head over to Uniswap and connect your wallet to Uniswap. Next, you need to select the coin that you are paying with. In my case, it is USDC. Then I need to find pre-search. I highly recommend copying the smart contract address from CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko and pasting it here. That is the best way to know you are buying the correct token. I completely forgot to hit the record button when I was purchasing mine, but the process is pretty simple. When you punch in the amount of the currency that you are swapping, you will automatically see the amount of pre-search token that you will be getting. Keep in mind that it is 2000 per node and you will need some funds to cover the fees. If you look at the bottom here, you will see a fee of 48 US dollars for network fees. These fees go up and down so you can wait until you see a reasonable price. In my case, the fee started with 101 US dollars and I waited 
until the fees dropped down to 48 US dollars, then I pulled the trigger. If you are happy with the fee, you can click on swap and your Coinbase wallet should open. In your Coinbase wallet, you must have some Ethereum to cover the gas fees and complete the swap. I always maintain some Ethereum in my Coinbase wallet. If the fees are too high, cancel the swap and try again later. It really took me about two days to get the best Ethereum gas fees and complete the swap. I think I ended up paying about 68 US dollars in Ethereum gas fees. Okay, now fast forward a few hours and you were able to get the best gas fees and you completed the swap and finally have pre-search token in your Coinbase wallet. The next step is to send your pre-search token from Coinbase wallet to your node. To do that, you will need your node wallet address which is found right here by clicking on transfer PRE from blockchain, click on it and copy your wallet address. Go back to your Coinbase wallet and send your entire pre-search balance to your pre-search wallet address that we just copied. Once complete, you will have to wait for it to show up in your pre-search node. I have to admit that I freaked out a little bit. It took me somewhere between 3 to 4 hours to get mine. I completely thought I sent it to the wrong address. I even sent an email to pre-search support and I was sent an email directing me to ask the question in Telegram which I still don't quite understand. But by then the funds were already in my pre-search node and I had no reason to be upset or freak out anymore. Now here's where everything comes together. You have a node and you have the token but it needs to be hosted somewhere. You can run a node from your home computer, a Raspberry Pi or on the cloud. I'm going to show you how to run your pre-search node on AppCloud. The cost of running the node on AppCloud starts at 5 US dollars and that's all you really need to run a pre-search node. To get started all you need to do is sign up for an AppCloud account and if you use my referral code at the bottom you will get a free 25 US dollars credit in your account. In order to deploy your server you will also need to make a minimum payment of 10 US dollars. So your 10 US dollars with my 25 referral will give you a credit of 35 US dollars. Now let's get going. Right here you will see all your available locations. You will need to pick the server closest to you. I am in the US and USNYC is the closest one to me. I'm going to select the $5 plan. Then select Ubuntu and continue to add in an SSH key. I'm going to give it a name. For SSH, you will be required to download a free software called PuTTY. Select the version for your operating system. I'm using Windows so I'm going with that. Once PuTTY is downloaded, start it and move the mouse in an erratic way to generate a random key. Now that we have the key, we can copy the SSH key and paste it in the SSH key section in AppCloud. When copying the key, you want to make sure everything is copied. I highly recommend saving the private and public keys somewhere safe. Now that both keys are saved, we can save the SSH key and move down to load the initialization script. I have the script in the video description, you can simply copy it from there. The only thing that you need to change is your node registration code and you get that from your pre-search node. When entering the registration code, Please note the space between pre-search slash node and there is no space between the equal sign and your code. If all is done properly, add it as a saved script. Give it a name and click on deploy. Your server should go online automatically. You can rename it here. You can name it whatever you please. The last thing we need to do to get going is to stake the pre-search token. To do that, we need to scroll down to the bottom, give the node a description, put in 2000 pre in the pre-stake amount box, select send me an email on disconnect and connect, and click update. You should be able to see your 2000 being staked.
One more time, I'm going to check my iCloud server and make sure everything is running properly. It seems like everything is running pretty good. The last portion of this video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install a Coinbase wallet. But before signing out, I would greatly appreciate it if you like, subscribe to my channel and help spread the word. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.